I got the bird in my pocket. You've got your bird in your pocket? Let's have a look. You pretend fun. Guys, it is Saturday. It is the Saturday. It is. Um, before we go to Friday. Today it is last day of um Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> uh, today is last training day today. Zach will not be rugby training for about four weeks, I think it might be. Uh, the next time we will be training will be in preparation for the um, Rhinos Challenge, it's called. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's the, um, we're having like a little thing at Butlins in about a month's time when we come back from Florida. And it's a full like countrywide thing. As far as I know, I don't know if it's countrywide or just Yorkshire and Lincoln, I don't know. Uh, but it's organised by the Leeds Rhinos and it's going to be quite a cool week. Weekend, I think so that's the next time that he'll be training this is his last training day Saturday before the Tuesday that we fly also means it is 72 hours or nearly 72 hours prior to us flying with Virgin which means we can book our seats today as well so that's what I'm going to be doing when we're coming home right now though we are going to be heading I wanted to show him well okay where is he well, well, there he is. We brought Walter to the rugby training today because yeah. Walter loves it. So we're going to go head out of there now because I am sweating already. But I can't, I can't see Dougie, but Dougie's not coming out of the car. I think he's already gone in. He's training. Next stop, Walt. We're at Nana's house now. Come on, Lizzie Burns. Good boy. Oh my gosh, I picked up this camera at 9 o'clock this morning, it is now 18.53 and there are no vlogs between then and now, it has been such, I've got stinking headache, it's been such a stressful busy day, I thought I'll just sit down and tell you what I've been doing. This morning we headed to rugby as you saw, then we headed to my grandma's but I forgot that come 10 o'clock we were able to book our seats with Virgin. So I quickly logged on around 11 o'clock, the seats unfortunately had gone, what we wanted to book. Um, so we went and chose some others and they were charging me for the kids. And I thought that's not right because we're flying club members, you get free um, seat placement, free seat allocation, free choose your seat, whatever it's called, um, 72 hours before you fly. So I had to ring them up, I'm at my grandma's, I had to ring them up and I was on there for about a good half an hour, oh I don't know why I just zoomed in then, uh, for a good half an hour she had to create Zach and Harper their own flying club membership to allow them to then check in 72 hours before and like waiver the fee which was a bit weird so i had to go through all that i had to give them two new separate email addresses to mine and alex's i was just like oh my god so where we wanted to be we wanted to be like at the front of the wing um but unfortunately we're, we're at the back which is fine um alex was not that keen because he don't want to be stuck in customs and stuff but i said it's not like it used to be well i don't think it is anyway so it should be fine but we have chosen um two rows so like it's a three a four and a three so we've chosen on the right hand side we've chosen the two next to the window two separate rows we've chosen two next to the window and the two next to them with two spare next to us I chose them because across the way on the seating plan it looks like there's a four that's already been pre-booked or pre-paid for which I think is the, I can't remember what they call it, Like I don't know if they call it the bulkhead bit where they put like a bassinet and a baby can go in it so chances are somebody's pre-booked that or pre-paid for that and that is like a family of four so we're hoping that them four are going to be the family then there's going to be a spare one next to us three and then us then then two of us and we've done the same for the one behind so hopefully we will have a row each we'll the but well i say we the kids probably will get to see out the window both kids will get to see out the window we sat in front and behind each other and fingers crossed we will get a seat that is spare next to both of us on each row 
plain didn't look very full in at all. Like it was in front of the wing, but behind and where we're sat, it was not full. It really was not full. So yeah, I don't think we'll have any issue. If it was full, then potentially if there was a party of two, there could be, we could have a random person sat there and a random person sat behind it. But I don't think that's going to happen. If, you, if you're a family of four in particular, I much prefer to be in the middle, but Alex wants to be near the window. He's never got near the window. Um, so we chose to do, we decided to do that this year, so we'll see how that goes. Um, this afternoon, we got Sky Q fitted. A Sky had rang us, well, not they hadn't actually rang us. We'd completely forgot that we, the last time we went to cancel, they said, oh, if you stay with us for another 18 months, then you'll get it for 40 something pound a month. So it was like, okay, them 18 months went and we realized that they'd taken like a hundred pound out of our account. That did include WrestleMania, so probably it'd gone up to maybe about 80, um, and we didn't realise. So we rang them when we did realise and said, we want to cancel. So they was all like, oh, what can we, what, can you stay? Like, what can we offer you to stay? So Alex just said, SkyQ, if you can give me SkyQ for X amount of money or for what we was paying before it went up again, then I'll stay. So we did have a bit of to and fro and there was very big issues between Alex and the um, caller. He was waiting for a call back and then the, he ordered it and then they ordered it wrong or they said the email that they sent didn't have the right stuff on it. So we, it has been really difficult. But today we have got it installed and it's pretty cool. I don't know if anybody's got it, but I think I maybe need to do a little like run through of what it is about. I ain't got the button, unfortunately. I don't know where it is, so I can't do that right now. Um, but like you can press on the side of the remote and like say Jumanji or something and it'll find Jumanji for you. So you don't have to go traipsing through. Um, what else? I can link my phone up to it. We can watch YouTube through it. I'm trying to think. We've also got a mini box. I, d I don't know what... I don't really get it. I think it's like a multi-room thing. So we can watch some stuff that we're watching down here. We can pause it and then we can go watch the rest of it upstairs. And it's like what's downstairs is upstairs and what's upstairs is downstairs type thing. I think. It briefly went through it but I had two kids like screaming in my ear saying, Oh can I still go on FIFA? Like how do you go on FIFA? I'm like FIFA is nothing to do with Skyzak. And she's like, can I have some chocolate? No Harper, let me just listen to the man telling me how to use this remote control. I am quite savvy when it comes to electronics, but I was just like, oh, I just can't. Okay, thank you. I'll listen to a little bit and yeah. So they're the bits that I listen to. So we are still learning, but it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, we also got it moved from there. We got it extended, so it's gonna be there, but it's not gonna stay there for ages, I don't think, but I think we're gonna get a display thing there or I don't really know. So yeah that's what's happened today it's been pretty chaotic oh and i jet washed the garden and um, the little patch where the dogs go i got the jet wash on that and um then it ended up being a little bit i got a little bit over enthusiastic with it and just jet washed the whole um concrete pave patio <laughs> that's what it's called uh, so yeah, that's what today has been all about. It's been real. I've got a stinking headache. We've had pizza tonight. I've bought two bars of chocolates. I even bought Alex some beer and I was like, I want you to drink this for me because I feel like I could just drink uh, everything <laughs> at the minute. Well, today. So yeah, that's today. Tomorrow, my mum is coming around. Um, and we really need to get finished packing. I can't be bothered to do anything tonight. Today has just been too busy. So I don't know if Alex is up there now doing some little bits. He's got the other cases down that we need to pack. Um, a lot of it is mainly packed. He's packed two cases already. He shared all the clothes out. He packed two cases already. So there is only like the last one and then obviously your toiletries and all stuff like that. So there's not much to do. But then we also need to get the roof box on tomorrow. And I don't know why I'm just like waving a bone at you, but I am. Um, we need to get the roof box on ASAP. So yeah, but that's it. We are also going to Alex's mum's for tea tomorrow. Yes. So we've had takeaway tonight. We're going out for tea tomorrow. 
I love these type of weekends. So I'm going to love you and leave you right now. I have got this nail varnish because I really, 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 really need to paint a few more of my nails. I have got some um, jamboree. I was going to say prints. They're not prints. I don't know what they're called. Nail wraps. That's what they're called. Wraps. But they're like... I'm thinking that the yellow, this yellow, might look really, really nice with them. The Mickey one, so I'll show you when I've done. Um, so I'm just doing a few, well, coating these really, and I have been over the last few days just to get them all nice and thick and nice and stuff. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to eat that big fat, fat, big, big, <laughs> big, fat bar of chocolate, and probably be asleep by like eight o'clock. Because I am done in today. I'm not sure if you noticed this morning, but I went to hairdressers this morning. I've had this cut. She's like, I only had my roots done. I've got no more greys. Yes, no more greys. Um, I didn't get the blonde done, but she did put like a toner through it, she said, and made it like really nice and ashy. I think it looks like not grey, but like really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to love you and leave it like I just said. And we shall see you again tomorrow. Bye guys!